Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing the fourth look from my Zodiac Halloween series. Today's look is the Cancer look. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I already primed my eyes, obviously. I'm gonna start off by going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 1 palette. And first things first, I'm gonna dip into C1 and just kind of do a little light dusting on the brow bone. And then I'm gonna dip into the shade B4 and start packing that on my inner corners. And then I'm going to dip into the Norvina Volume 1 Mini and the Norvina Volume 4 palette. And I'm going to use this shade right here, this lavender shade right here, C4, and just use those two shades to start blending out the purple. And then I'm going to dip back into volume 1 and I'm going to use the shade D4 on my outer corner. And then I'm going to dip into the Norvina volume 2 palette and I'm going to use the shade B4 to blend that out and then also the volume 3 mini and use the center shade to complete the blend. I'm not going to worry too much about the blend out here because I am going to be doing some cheek action. So we'll blend that when the whole base is on. Next up, I'm going to take this ColourPop Super Shock Pressed Glitter, and this is in the shade Castaway, and I'm just going to pat that between where the two colors meet. Perfect. So I'm going to jump off. I'm just going to do a little thin line on my lash line. I'm not going to do a wing. Clean up underneath my eyes, toss on my base, and then I will be back to do the cheeks. Okay, so obviously I did my base. I also put on a little bit of nose contour because I'm not putting anything else on my nose. So I just needed a little bit of like color definition on my nose. Now, jumping back into the under eyes and the cheek area, I'm going to go into the Norvina Volume 1 palette. I'm going to go back into that dark purple B4 shade and start putting that underneath my eyes and I'm also going to contour with it. replicating basically what I did on my lids I'm gonna go into the volume one mini and go into that shade use it to blend out my under eyes and kind of just start to blend out this contour just a little bit
And then into volume four, same thing, into C4, once again, just using that to blend. This lighter purple is gonna kind of serve as a bridge to blend into the blue because I am gonna be putting blue on my cheeks as well. All right, back into the little tiny brush and into D4, the dark blue shade in volume one. And I'm gonna start pressing that underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and kind of just start pulling the color out and up and down and all around. All right, into Narvina Volume 2 and into the shade B4 just to keep blending. Off camera really quick, I did go back in with that dark blue and kind of deepen up here a little bit because I had blended some of it away. And also I was noticing that there was like a line of demarcation where my eye primer was versus where my um, like foundation and everything is. It You could kind of see like there was lines. So I just tossed on a lot more of the dark blue pigment to just kind of blend it all together. This looks not about, you know, precision or anything like that it's just having fun with color on the face so with that being said i'm going to go into the volume three mini into that center color again say if you're on a mission to pan some eyeshadows this is the way to do it I'm just gonna run this over everything see if we can just get a good blend Then I'm gonna go in with another big fluffy brush and my just regular pressed powder and I'm just gonna use this to kind of just meh, like blend the edges pretty much. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that ColourPop Castaway Glitter and I'm just gonna do the same thing on my under eyes, just kinda blend the two together. And then for highlight, I'm going to go in with the ABH Nicole kit and use the shade Forever Lit, which is kind of like 
It's got a little bit of a blue reflect to it, so I think it'll look really good with this look. I'm not gonna go too crazy with the highlight because I don't want like a white line through here, so I'm gonna be a little bit more strategic about where I put it. Beautiful. I am gonna jump off really quick. I'm gonna finish up the majority of my face. I will be back to do lips and glue on some pearls. All right, so take two with like the stone application. If you watched my Taurus video, I will link it up here and down below, you would know that I struggled with the rhinestones and the application. I have these sets, you can barely see these ones because they're all white and pearls, but I have these sets that I bought from Amazon and I also got like a little wax tipped rhinestone applicator. These already have like a sticky stick on them. So I was struggling to get the applicator to stick to them. So I kind of just sat here just now and I pulled off the sticky backs off of all of them because I'm gonna use lash glue to apply them anyway. Hopefully that works a little bit better. Oh, it's so much easier. Let me zoom you guys in. Okay. That's so much easier. So the trick is to peel off the sticky thing on the back of the, the rhinestones. It is struggling a little bit with the bigger ones, so I'm just going to... Are they symmetrical? Absolutely not. Do I care? And then for lips, I'm gonna be going in with this Milani Liquid Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Magic Matte. This is from their Halloween collection last year, but they also released it the year before, so I'd be inclined to believe that they're probably gonna bring it back this year, but it's just a black liquid lipstick with, um, pink and purple and blue sparkles in it. All right guys, so that is going to wrap up today's look. If you're a Cancer, comment down below and tell me how I did. I wanted to kind of embody the water without turning myself into a crab because I felt like that would have been too obvious. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun creating this one. I have a lot of fun with the ones that I can just like plaster color all over my face. I also think it's kind of fun to show these crazy colorful Halloween looks that you can achieve with eyeshadow, not with, you know, face paints and all of these other crazy techniques that a lot of people don't have. Most people who wear makeup have eyeshadows and it's a lot easier to apply and it looks a lot better than like the crappy like spirit Halloween face paint stuff. I probably already said it but I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe if you have not already. I have the rest of the zodiac signs worth of Halloween looks to go through. I also do a ton of non-Halloween looks too when it's not October. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.